Logan. Looks like it. On my X-ray vision. Isn't he like your brother now or something? Uh, David! Oh yeah. What? Got any nice buns today? <laughs> uh, money's on the counter. I'll be checking it. Charming. Yeah, watch this. Hi, Jimmy. Hello. Um, it's all right, there's no rush for a bag or anything. Right. What? My old school uniform, you said you'd like to dress up on the weekends. Like you ever went to school. The chick on him. You don't do bad yourself. See you later. Bye. Hiya, Jimmy, how you doing? It's like a big blank canvas. Ah, sounds good. <laughs> it isn't, it's hellish. To, to bath? Well, I was early. Been up since a small hours looking through photos. And you think something could click? I mean, look at her. I won't bother with them, mate. Well, what else is going to help me? I mean, her. She's ancient history. She was here yesterday. That's not ancient, is it? I feel like something's on the tip of my mind. You got the keys? Put yours out. Cheers, boss. You enjoy your line, did you? Yeah. Yeah, well, me and Andy have seen to the lambs, so can you make a start on the muck spreading? That won't be happening. Oh, come on now. Oh, can we just eat you two? Look, you've had your little paddy, right? And I can totally see where you're coming from, because it's not an easy job. But another day of this piddling around, and you're really going to start getting on my wick. You see? That's just you all over, though, innit? Anything else apart from work on the farm is piddling around. And what do you want to call this? People change jobs, Dad, all the time. That's what I'm doing. And what is this new job, then? Holding your girlfriend's hand? Yeah, it is. And you know what? I'm about to go and do that now. Imagine how good I am not to be spreading muck instead. Right. Hey! Uh, uh, uh. Are you being serious? Are right, you too rock hard to feel the cold now? The man that was impervious to weather. Cheers, Mother. I suppose I'd be pushing me up to point out you've had no breakfast. Mm, yes. Right. Hey! Hiya, he's not had any breakfast. So what? Neither have I. Helpful. What do you want? Just on my way to work. Scenic route. See you later then. Um, spoke to Jackson yesterday. You are? Why? What have you said? No, nothing. Just told him, you know. No, I don't. That he should be a bit more grateful. He? Mum, have you seen his life? Yes, I have. And I've also seen yours long into the future, but if that's the way you want it, then that's fine by me. Oh, right, yeah, as if you get a say. It's like I told him. It's only fair he starts giving you something back. Mum, well, that was private what I told you yesterday. Sorry, I was only thinking of you. Yeah, well, you're obviously no good at it, are you? So just pack it in. Right, so if you're going from, uh, I don't know, Canuck to Blackburn, then you put that in there, and then where you're going in there, and it brings a route up there. Got it, yeah. All right, then. Well, you can sort the routes out for next week. Hiya. Hiya. How are you? Not too bad, thanks you. I'm already late for my first day back. I dropped Angelica off at nursery, but I'll probably have to stay on, so I thought you could pick her up on your own. I'm sort of in the middle of something. You were dead keen yesterday. I am. It's just, uh something's come up. Right, um Well, I'll be off then. Tell her hi from me, won't you? Well, you could tell her yourself if you picked her up. Call around any time, you know where we are, I think. If he doesn't, I'll show him. Have a leg. Go nuts. No, but it's worn off, isn't it? A long time ago. Oh, don't knock, will you? Thought you might want these back after yesterday. Don't be daft. He loves being reprimanded for doing nothing wrong by a woman who knows 
absolutely zero about what he's been through. Mum. Well, you don't need all that. I'll tell you what else I don't need. All right. <coughs> Get lost, Hazel. I'm like being a kid again. Had nothing to do with me. No one going off like that. Yeah, it did. She was on about you. I didn't ask her to, is what I meant. I'm sorry. OK. It's all that's keeping us out now. Right. But you're mad at me anyway, are you? She talked a lot of sense. Oh, well, mate, there's always next season. It will, yeah. All right, mate. Cheers. Bye. Can we fit a trip into Liverpool early next week? Jimmy? Jimmy! Liverpool. Early next week. What are you doing? It's driving me mad, this. You've got to give it time. How much? I'm going to the pub. Since when has that ever helped anything? Don't know. Can't remember. Has he got a coat on? No, I'm naked. Shouldn't you be in work? Yes, but I get away with it because I'm charming. Not because your boyfriend's a cripple, then. Oi, you're not a cripple. I'm sat in this, my best mate's a laptop. Of course I'm not a cripple. Um, I'm your best mate. Yeah, I know that. I got it! And anyway, you should be talking to me, not that. You just said them done, isn't it? No, you just open your mouth. This coming from you? And what is it you always say to me? Are you sure you didn't send your mum round the other day because you are starting to talk like her? I can't talk back to you, can it? One of the advantages. Doesn't judge me either, no matter what I say. Right, there's been a change of plan about your hospital appointment. Your dad's on his way round to give me a hand. He's bringing Josh. And who's Josh? My half-brother. Dad's son, I've never met him before. Right, well, I'd better stay in then, haven't I? Oh, you've got time for a quick part, haven't you? Best not, anyway. You'll probably end up getting in trouble. Right, Mum, get me out of this coat, please. See you later, then. I know, I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. I'm only messing. Late night, were it? Oh, let's just say things are rather busy at home. Put my hands out, go on, have a brew in the back. Oh, I could do with having a kip in the back. I'm going to have to take some time off, I think, if it's not leaving Diane in the looks. Well, look, I can do some shifts for you. Really? Because that would be a big help. Yeah, it'd be a big help to me and all I could do with the brass. All right, cheers. Right, I'm going to pick some stuff up from the town hall. Hey, and you got to pick Jacob up? Oh. It's all right, I'll do it. Thanks. See ya. See you later. Bye. Uh, you don't mind me nipping out for half an hour, do you? Uh, no, not at all. Oh, it's just I like to pick Jacob when he stayed at his dad's, you know, getting deprogrammed by the time he gets home. Oh, fills his head with nonsense, does he? Fills his pockets full of stuff I can't afford. Mm. Anyway, cheers. Thanks, love. <laughs> Josh! Oh, and you're handsome! Which is amazing, considering who your dad is. Yeah. Come in. All right, son. How's it going? Slow away. Josh? This is your brother, Jackson. All right, Josh. Is he a bit shy? No, yeah, that was a rule. Come on, Josh. Say hello to Jackson. No, he's all right. Yeah, he will be when he's warmed up. Here, why don't you... Sorry. No, tell you what, give him here. I'll balance him on my head, shall I? Here you go, Laurel. Sorry for the wait. Oh, thank you. Hiya. Hiya. It's a bit late for it? you, isn't it? Oh. I work through lunch, so I'm having a late one. Yeah. I should be working three of mine, but I needed a drink. Isn't it your first night today? <sighs> All right. Oh, Nicola. Have a chip. Relax. Is it Jimmy? Yeah, I'll tell you what, he's going through hell, isn't he? He's taking me along for the ride. Mm. Yeah, selfish of me, I know, but it's impossible, Laurel. Well, I know it sounds a cliché, but, you know, I think you just need to take things slowly. I'm happy to. 
It's the going backwards I can't deal with. Yesterday we took Angel to nursery and had a chat and it was well, not normal but nice. And today it's like we've never even met again. Yeah, well, um, I just don't really know what to say. There's nothing to say. I just want the old Jimmy back. Six pounds, please. Oh, cheers. Has your phone died? Is that your way of asking why I've not answered your calls? I keep calling you because your dad keeps calling me. He's going spare up there. He knows the score. Oh, one of you needs to hold out an olive branch. And you know as well as I do it's not going to be him. I have not got a problem with me dad. Well, good. Tell him that then. Yeah, I will do. As long as he accepts, I don't work on the farm. Adam, you can't just hang around doing nothing. And what are you going to do for money? Declan. You offered me a little bit of work and I said, yeah. So please, don't worry. Hey, hold on. Can I get some food? There's some chips going here. Right. How does this work? Is there a lift? No. No, someone takes his legs, someone takes his arms, and then we just chuck him in like a sack of coal. Oh, where's my bag? No, I'll get it. Cheers. You all right? Yeah. What do you think, your little brother, then? A lot more than he thinks of me. He's shy. He's only just met you. I don't think the fact we've only just met is a problem. He doesn't understand. It's a lot to take in. Yeah, I know. Big Brother's supposed to be someone that takes you for a kickabout and teaches you to bowl over arm and sticks up for you in a fight. And what does he get? Head on a stick. Don't say that. Where are we at? Front to back. Oh. Come on, then. I've had no dinner. What's cheap and filling? Um, free potato. I'll sort you out when they're not looking. I'll just cart these in while you stand around talking, shall I? Oh, well, you're the boss. I was being sarcastic. Um, yeah, so was I. Leela's the boss. Anyways, you're old, you need the exercise. Uh, I'm actually quite fit, thank you very much. Hadn't got unnoticed. <sighs> nice try, boxers. Could you make it any more obvious? What? You're fit. <laughs> Hey, which one of them's the lightest? I'll just leave them, I'll sort it. You sure? Yeah, of course. On. My wick all the way back. Oh, you're only having a bit of fun, aren't you, love? Oh, yeah, life's loads of fun for those that can afford it. Well, you can't come down, Jake. I haven't even said yes yet. Yes to what? Oh, just do want to take him to some theme park. Cool, can I go? No one will be going if they don't do what they're told. Hey, I always do what I'm told. That's the boss. Right, so Justin's taking him and he wants you to pay. Oh, no, he's paying. Right then, so what's your problem? The problem is how it's making me look. You know, his dad takes him everywhere, all these places, and lets him go on all these rides and stuffs his face full of candy floss and then bags him a big teddy. Then he gets home to me and I'm like, right, chips and beans for your tea and a game of flipping Jenga. I'm sick of competing. So don't. Spoken like someone who don't have kids. Jake!
scary. Move it back a bit. Right. Oh, too far, too far. How's that? Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. Do one. Charming. Zoom out. Stop. Zoom in. Stop. This is what you can do for myself. Mum! What? You're redundant. Started. Right, well, it appears as I've not been doing this properly, so let's start again with the new equipment. It's not as if anyone's going to see it anyway, so... Hello, nobody. I'm Jackson, and I was involved in a spot of bother. And I now spend my days either in bed or in my wheelchair. That's not a lot of fun. Disappear for the afternoon, why don't you? Sorry, I had things to do. Tea won't be long. You got beer? No. Were me and Nicola happy? Oh. I've told you you were. Well, tell me again and be honest. See, there. Hesitation. No. I was trying to think of a new way to put it, but there isn't one. Right. Nicola is like this. And you are like this. And you both love it. You were happy. Very. I mean, how come I can't get a connection with her? And yet I feel one with, with Kelly. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. She was your ex. Probably loved her once. Not the same as Nicola. More. Less. You and Nicola were trying for another baby. Yeah? Yes. So forget Kelly. I was talking to Bob. That's where I've been. What were you talking to him about? Her. Kelly. I played it down. I didn't say that she was here. He said he hadn't seen her since Viv's funeral. And? Well, I said I was trying to piece things together, that anything might help. She won't. Got a phone number. She won't help. And her address. Peterborough. One thing I can say for it is everyone's really nice. I mean, I can get away with anything. They just think, oh, poor Jackson. I don't think I'd ever have to buy another drink if I didn't want to. But then again, what else am I going to do with the money? Buy a trampoline, a motorbike. <laughs> Could get a sidecar and get Aaron to drive the motorbike. I reckon he'd be well up for that. Maybe I should just stay clear of motorised transport, you know, once bitten. You hear people say that they don't remember anything after an accident. But I do. I remember everything. The phone call. Going off the road. The van overturning thinking I'm actually having a crash. On my head it, wa it wasn't painful, it just felt like it was on fire. I don't mind remembering. Sometimes I just sit there and I, I force myself to. Because that's the last time that I was really me. And <laughs> not that I'm not this lump that I am now. And it's me mum and Aaron and me dad that I feel sorry for. Here I am in this situation and I'm feeling sorry for other people who should give me a medal and pin it to my chest. Literally, pin it to my chest. I mean, it's not as if I'm going to feel it. My mum used to travel everywhere and now she's stuck here with me. And me dad... Well, I bet, I bet me being gay doesn't seem that bad anymore. 
it's a bit easier to deal with than this cabbage he's got for us, son. And what's Aaron going to do? P p push me around for the rest of his life and wheel me to the park and shove a butty in my face and then take me home and empty my bag out and sit there until I fall asleep every night for the next 50 years? Yeah, of course I will. I hate the pity. And the looks that I get, people... Talk to me differently now. Louder. More slowly, like I'm brain damaged. <laughs> Sometimes I wish that I was, because then I won't be able to realise what kind of hell that I'm in. I wish for a lot of things. I wish I was dead sometimes. I just don't want to be here anymore now. I just don't. I just don't want to be here anymore. I just want to die now. <sighs> Emmerdale continues in half an hour.